Ooh, welcome back to Sunrider, everyone, where I have thought some things over and I think I will give in, as Asuka told us to do what's right, yes? So, I, well, I, it just wouldn't be quite right to oppose this. So I understand the Alliance is our friend. I'm sorry about any misgivings I had. <laughs> I just hope I make the right choice. I sure hope so. Huh? Suddenly a group of masked men poured out from an alleyway and surrounded Shields and Kriska. Uh -huh. You almost sound as if you were expecting that. The two slowly raised their hands as the men drew their rifles. <laughs> I knew it! I had a feeling you would pop up! <sighs> Cosette, how did you find us? That girl? Shh. I got careless. it tossed a silver coin to the girl. Shields was pushed down to his knees as the gunmen tied fasteners around his wrists. You're making a mistake, Cosette. You should never have brought children into this. You're a maniac! Gunman struck Shields on the back of the head with a rifle. Shields fell to the ground, unconscious. Ah, oh, jeez. Just what have we done now? Oh, good. Yeah, I think so. <sighs> I really hope it's not that ineffectual. Like you said, there are half a million people living here. Perfect place for Cosette's goons to hide. Steel grinded as the lock on the gate was undone. A burly looking guard was sent into the cell. Is that is that a valid spelling of burly? <laughs> the boss, huh? You mean the maniac? <laughs> Okay, we won't cause trouble. <laughs> Kriska stood as well. Do as he says, Lieutenant. Don't worry, I think Cosette intends to keep us alive. Uses his leverage. <laughs> Awfully smart of her. You too. I'll be back. I'll definitely be back. Cosette! Hmm... Why, thank you. Cosette passed her canteen to Shields. Shields eyed Cosette. It's hard not to. Cosette snatched the canteen away from him to a gulp. Shields took a sip. He gagged the liquid back out. The entire camp laughed. <laughs> that can't be healthy. <laughs> so I see. Ah, so that's your story. Hmm. <laughs> don't really... Don't really know and don't really care. It's not kind to guess a woman's age. <laughs> what are you after, Cosette? Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I figured. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> your reputation precedes you. You've murdered too many civilians to claim you're not a killer. You attack our arms of cargo vessels. You execute their crews, steal their goods. How are you not a killer? <laughs> well, that stuff's really precious to you. <laughs> Stop this, Cosette. We can help you. We can help Ongus. Even so... What about the medical cruiser they just docked? What about all the food and water they've distributed? I'm not one of them. I come from a neutral world just like yours. Listen to me, I have the Admiral's ear. Just give me your demands and we can make amends. I seek independence for my world just as you do. We're in this together. Ah, it's never too late. You know that won't be possible. You're mad. Leave the children out of this, at least the children. Cosette whispered into Shield's ear. Set. <laughs> You're making a mistake. Mm. <laughs> ah, here we are again. No oh, darkness, my old friend. <sighs> hmm? Shields opened his eyes. How long had you been trapped in there? Huh? Cement? <laughs> How long? Don't do anything reckless, Lieutenant. The Alliance will come for us. <laughs> and, and, wait, how, how long would you... Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Your, uh... Your resolve is impeccable. This was my... <sighs> well, I guess you're not necessarily wrong, but... Steel screeched as the guard undid the gate. Uh-oh. Alright. Oh. She always looks at Crisco with apprehension. Mm, of course. Of course you can. Oh man. Kriska stood and walked over to the guard. Just as he turned his back, Kriska broke free and wrapped her bindings around his neck. She was grimaced as the guard's neck bones cracked like twigs. Sheesh, how strong are you? Oh boy. She was and Kriska ducked behind the grate as a gunman passed. A 
because it has this place locked down tight. Our safest bet might be to make a run to it, to an escape pod. Oh, what the heck? That's a familiar sound. Suddenly, a siren went off behind them. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Cosette. It doesn't strike me you really care that much. <laughs> oh no. Kriska! <gasps> Suddenly a shot echoed through the station. One of Cosette's goons fell to the ground, his brains smeared on the ground. Getting a bit graphic, aren't we? Blinding light flashed as flashbang grenades exploded around Cosette's men. Lion soldiers stormed Cosette's encampment, guns blazing. <laughs> she was called over to Kriska's gunfire raged overhead. Are you alright? <laughs> and the lion's marine pitched shields off the ground. Kriska picked up a weapon and covered shields back. Out of the corner of Shield's eye, he caught sight of something. No, wait, hang on! The girl picked up Cosette's dropped knife. No, put the knife! Let me go, Lieutenant! No! <laughs> Debris splattered shields as a shanty was struck with a rocket propelled grenade. A family dressed in rags scurried from their home, their screams inaudible against the ringing in shields' ears. The eldest of the family did not make it in time and was crushed underneath the flaming wreckage. Was it one of Cosette's men who had fired the shot? Or one of the Alliance? An empty-handed man lied on the ground in a puddle of blood. A woman wept as she clutched an infant to her chest. <laughs> that maniac. She would sat at his office. While he had been held captive for less than 48 hours, it felt like an eternity had passed since he last sat at his chair. Admiral Grey spoke through the comm. <laughs> Some security lapse! Hmm. Tell me this, Admiral. How many civilians died during my rescue? So you counted that, huh? Did you count the girl as one of them? I saw your men gun down a girl who couldn't have been more than ten years old, all because she happened to pick up a little knife. This is only the beginning. The people of Ongus will treat you as an occupier, not a liberator. You can offer them all the aid you have, you can promise freedom and democracy, but as long as you mind their wrong side, you'll always be one of their enemies. An internal investigation? That's it. We've got to do more.
So you're fully aware of that, huh? You want to cover this up? Ah, this guy. This is... None of this would have happened to begin with if that ongoside didn't exist. That just makes me want to destroy it all. What am I even... <laughs> Someone's got to listen, right? <laughs> ah, jeez. I can't... Ah... <laughs> you know, I am going to have to think this through. I... <laughs> I don't know if he's telling the truth or not. I don't... Uh, I mean, people deserve to know what goes on, but that's also going to just get people riled up. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Dearest of all my friends. Alright, look. <laughs> Let's end it here for now. Next time. Next time we'll decide. Sheesh. I'll never forget what happened here today. In the past couple of days, more like. Hmm. <laughs>